Can you believe my absence? Can you believe my absence? You just four weeks and two weeks leave of absence without pay. I can't pay. People can't afford it. That's what we More popular. If you get more fame, more publicity, more money comes down the road. Welcome back to Capantis Barbell, and today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about my hobby as a power lifter. Now, many of you may know I began competing in powerlifting at the end of 2017. Um, I began doing that as uh, time went on. I began to get gradually more structured in my training. Um, I started setting some more goals for myself, just personally, and around that same time, I began following the sport of powerlifting. Um, and became a fan of it. And after about a year or two of training in that manner, um, I decided to do my first competition, which was in November of 2017. And I now have, well, one, two, I've done four competitions so far. Uh, my best competition lifts are a 518, a 518 pound squat, a 308 pound bench press, and a 584 pound deadlift. Um, I was planning on competing a couple weeks ago, actually, but due to all this um, craziness in the world right now, uh, I don't know when that will happen um, this year. But typically the way my training works is if I have a competition coming up, um, let's say maybe 12, 16 weeks out, I start specifically training towards um, increasing my three competition lifts, which are my squat, my bench, and my deadlift, and exercises that help build up those lifts. Um, once the season ends, which is usually around this time of year, um, I add a little more variety and variability to my training. A little more fun stuff, some conditioning, whether it might be doing stuff outdoors with a sled, which I'll be probably doing some videos on shortly. Um, maybe some higher rep uh, work, not quite as heavy, uh, more bodybuilding type stuff. Just stuff to make it a little more fun and to kind of work on some of my, um, my weak points to when I turn around and go back and do competition prep again. Um, that's typically how I train. Um, I really enjoy it. It's a cool way for me to somewhat legitimize my my lifts for for you know years later when I'm not able to do this anymore. I have my my lifts all documented. We all know the guy who tells you you know when he was your age in high school he benched 500 pounds and then he hurt his shoulder and now he can't do it anymore. You know, so it kind of takes away from, you know, the quote unquote fish stories about all the, you know, glory days that people talk about. Not the only reason, that's just kind of a fun reason I do it. It's a good way to kind of have a, a body of work that's documented that doesn't ever go anywhere at some point. Um, so that's really why I do it. That's why I enjoy it. And it's been a lot of fun. Um, do not worry. I do not train any of my clients this way, nor do I intend to. This is just a hobby of mine that I do. Um, that's nothing to do with how I train my clients. Just thought I'd I throw that in there. Um, have a great weekend, everybody, and um, look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks, guys.